Thank you for viewing us from the Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Global Diplomat College Center present Rediscovering Kingdom Mission of Jesus Christ, Part 2. Transforming Students into Leaders, Leaders and Agents of Change. Today, our focus is on session Rediscovering Kingdom Mission of Jesus Christ, Part 2. Rediscovering Kingdom Mission of Jesus Christ, Part 2. The Bible is called the Law of God. When you're approaching the Bible, you're not approaching a religious book. You're approaching a legal document. The Bible is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven. Am I making myself clear to you? You cannot experience what you do not understand. Rediscover is to find what had been lost or been ignored. To go back. We must go back and rediscover the kingdom mission of Jesus Christ. What is the mission of Jesus Christ? Why did he came? What was the purpose of his coming to earth? Why he came to earth? And what is the task? What is the work and the accomplishment he done when he came? Jesus sent by the Father to earth. He was an envoy. He came on diplomat kingdom diplomacy businesses. Am I making myself clear to you? God's original plan is to extend, to establish his heavenly kingdom on earth through his sons and his daughter. Now we begin with the online seminar. Our message is globally spreading the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the whole world. We go in the constitution of the Bible. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. Now we go to Acts of the Apostle 10. 34. Then Peter began to speak. Now, I really understood that God don't show favoritism. But in every nation, the people who fear him and do righteously is acceptable to him. He sent the message to the Israelites, proclaiming the good news of peace through Jesus Christ. Wow. I explain. Peter speaking to the whole nation, every Gentile nation, every nation on earth. He let them know that God don't have favoritism. But in every country, every nation on earth, God accept them. He do not show no favoritism to one nation over the other. 
He accepts every nation, every humanity. I'm very clear. But those who fear him, to fear God, is to shun and run away from evil, to turn away from evil. Every nation who turn away from evil, and every nation who, who live righteously in the sight of God, is unacceptable to God. America, China, Russia, France, Germany, whatever nation you are, if you fear God, if your citizens fear the Lord, your president, your prime minister, your representative of the people fear God, God accept that nation. Wow. I'm going to make myself clear to you. You know the event that took place throughout Judea, beginning from to the Gentiles. After the baptism of John preached, God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wow. He anointed him, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and power. With the Holy Spirit and power. And how he went? about doing good, healing all of those who are under the power of the devil. Wow. For God was with him. We ourselves are witnesses of everything he did, both in Judea, countries, and in Jerusalem. Wow. Israel had heard the message, the good news of peace. Israel had heard it, and now it extends to every country. And this gospel, what is the gospel? The gospel is not the cross, not Calvary, not the resurrection, not the blood. But the gospel is the good news of the kingdom of God. What the gospel is? The gospel is the good news of the kingdom of God. This message shall be preached in every nation. Religion, Christianity, and many different denominations, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, and many of the different religions have been and carry a message of prosperity. Many religions that carry a message of born again. They carry a message of the prosperity gospel, a message of pro the prophetic. But that's not the message. the message. The message is the good news of the kingdom of God. Preachers, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Catholicism, Christianity, and all these religious groups, they miss the message. Jesus is the misunderstood man ever walk on the earth. They miss his message. His message is the good news of the what? Kingdom of God. We will rediscover that. That's it, but his message is the good news of the kingdom of God. Now, Matthew 4, 17. Jesus' first inaugurated message. Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Repent means change your mind, change the way you think, a new mentality, 
change your mindset. Why? For the kingdom of heaven has arrived. A new government. The kingdom government has arrived. In verse 23, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues. Now, the synagogues are places of worship where the Jews gathered together and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. What is Jesus preaching? The gospel of the kingdom. The good news is the gospel of the kingdom. And after he, is preach, he was preaching, he healed all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Healing is an evidence that the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Change your mindset. Change the way you think. In Acts 17, God winked at and commanded all men, all men, all human, all people, all nations around the world to repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. Hear, O nations, repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever and ever. Amen and amen. God bless America. God bless the Philippines. God bless Africa. God bless Australia. God bless Bahamas. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone and bless his holy name. Come to the kingdom of God and have kingdom living and kingdom lifestyle. God bless you and God bless all the nations of the world. Bless his holy name.